I hear the Lord say, I am not pleased with the lack of love I see in my church. The pointing of the finger, the accusations, the judgmental attitude, the slandering tongue, the verbal and emotional abuse of one another. You make excuses for mistreating people with the idea that they deserve it. Your pride and entitlement is a stench before me. I am nauseous over how you use people for gain and greed. You serve with a secret agenda to be seen. Your constant need for attention has led you to worship the admiration of others. You have placed yourself on the throne. You have become the judge, jury, and trial, sentencing or condemning those I died for. You sit on the throne so you could be worshipped above me. Why do you ignore my voice? When I tell you you are doing wrong, why do you say you love me and hate me with your life? You take any excuse to justify your sin and rebellion. You are Lord of your life, not me. You do not love nor fear me. You are a lover of pleasure rather than a lover of God. You have taken advantage of my love and goodness. Do you think you can trample all over my courts and I will continue to allow it? No. I am a righteous judge and everyone will pay for the penalty of their wicked ways unless they are covered by the blood of my son. Making a casual apology will not be enough. Provide now the evidence of your repentance by turning from your wicked ways and walking in love. Your life should look like my son's life. Love and humility and obedience should be the mark of your life. I don't expect perfection. I want to see love. These two commandments I give you. Love me with all your heart, mind, and soul, and strength. Love others as yourself, for this is what is most important to me, Father God.